We're going to be exploring how to give other people access to your Superbase account so that you they can help you with development or check data or whatever might need to happen. So inside Superbase, you're going to uh, just click on the uh, little green logo icon, which will take you into the uh, dashboard area and show you all the projects that you have in your Superbase account. You may have one, you may have lots like I do. And on the left hand side, you're going to click these two little guys, the, the team icon. And then in there, you're going to click invite. And then you can select whether they're going to be an owner, administrator or a developer. And in most cases, you're going to just select developer. They don't need owner or administrator uh, access to your uh, uh, to your account, just developer access that gives them the ability to create tables and create, uh, edit structure, things like that. And uh, then you're, they're gonna, you're gonna type in their email address. So if you're inviting me, for example, uh, I use my personal email address as uh, an email for Superbase. So that's the email address you'll need to use. If they don't already have an account uh, within Superbase, you can use any address, but if they already do have an account, ask them, uh, what address they use for Superbase. And like I say, if you're inviting me to your uh, Superbase, you're going to use Mark P. Summers at Mac.com. That's M-A-R-C-P-S-U-M-M-E-R-S at Mac.com. And then uh, you can select whether um, you want to uh, give them single sign-on access, but this does require you to upgrade to a team plan if you want to do single sign-on using things like uh, Google or Apple logins. Um, but you don't need that for this. Uh, you're going to click send invitation, and I'm guessing I'm probably going to get an error because um, <laughs> I already exist in the organization. So let me just put a different email address in here, send invitation, and it's going to send off an email to that user. They're going to click on that email uh, to then set up their account. And then once you decide you no longer want them to have access, you have full control over that. In this case, you would just cancel the invitation because I've not actually connected yet. But um, once it's actually set up, it will say revoke uh, access and you would click on that revoke access uh, so that they no longer have uh, access. And that's as simple as it is to connect multiple people to your same uh, super base. This is super helpful if you've got a developer that's helping you with the database structure or um, you're working with a consultant that's helping you with uh, Famous, someone like myself, and um, you generally want to uh, share access so that your um, problems can get solved uh, quicker. And uh, that's about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And uh, I look forward to helping you in future videos.